Thanks for joining me. What I've got here is the Mazza Super Jolly. Now, this isn't very old. It's only like three months, and we've got an issue with the switch. It's just pinging back. Instead of being on a timer, where it rotates back nice and slowly, like it just flicks off. So you have to hold it there to get it grinding. It's under warranty. I could send it back and get them to change this for a new one, but I hate this timer switch. It's driving me insane. I just want a normal switch on there, on, off, so I can flick it on, let it run, flick it off when I want to. That's why the timer's broke, is because we've been just pulling it back to switch it off, because I hate leaving it running all the time. Um, just not quite the right system for what we use. So anyway, let's swap it out for this. Now I've been on the net and I found this one. It's a four pin on off switch. Um, I'll put a link in the description for you if you fancy changing yours over. I know it's quite a common thing on these. A lot of people don't like the timer switches and they want to put these switches on. So let's do this. Let's get it swapped over and hopefully get it working to how we want it to. Let's take the hopper off the top, take the bottom off and get it sorted. I'll push the tab in there. We'll have the top off it. I'll get that out of the way to start with. We don't want to be knocking that over. We've still got beans in the top, so we're going to have to tip it up and get those out. I saved making a mess. I'll just tip them straight into this bowl. This is a heavy beast. It does weigh a fair few grams. Ugh. Let's get them out of the way. Oh, Coffee grinds everywhere. Lovely. That's what we want. Ugh. Okay, that's that out of the way. Now we can move them over there and we'll get this on its side so that we can see what's going on underneath. Right, next step is to get these feet off. I've got some pliers here. We'll grab hold of the rubbers and try and twist them off and then it shouldn't damage the metal work. So they're like moulded to those. Three. This feels like it's coming away already. It wants to come off. It's screaming, let me out, let me out. And the last one. There we go. And then let's ease this back off now. There we go. There's the gubbins. Okay, so this reveals what we're looking for. The switch, which is nice and simple. We've got two lives, two neutrals. Um, Let's pop the top off, get the terminals off, and swap it all over. So the first thing we're gonna do is the switch knob, grab it, pull it off. It can be tight, but it should come away with a bit of look. All being new, these things are really stiff. Here it comes. There we go, that's that off. We can undo the two screws now. And obviously when we take the last one off, the switch is gonna drop in. So I'll just grab hold of that. That's the dirt away. We can take that plate off as well. And there's his old switch. So as for wiring this up, they actually do the hard work for us. On the back of this switch, it's labeled, we've got some numbers. We've got one, two, three, and four. And on this switch here, we're labeled one, two, three, four, as it says on the top there. So all we're gonna do is just literally swap these over to the right, the right numbers, which is basically like that. So we're just gonna go for it. We're gonna go, put one off there. Put it on there. 
and take number four off of there and pop it onto there. We'll do the same with those ones as well. There we go. So that was easy enough. We've got those in there. We can unscrew the little rubber dobber off the top of that and pull it off. Then we've got the next bit to come off as well. I actually might just have to get my grips on that. I'll have that one unscrewed as well. And then that leaves us with a little Got a little on off tab there as well. Okay, moment of truth. We've got the switch on there. Let's give it a flick. Wonderful. So that works nice. That's all good. The only thing is this switch, the diameter on this is slightly bigger than the hole we've got in the machine. So we're going to have to drill that out. We do need to just put a, a cup in there or something just to catch any little burrs that are going to fall inside. We don't want to get any near the motor. Um, so... Yeah, let's get let's get this sorted. Let's make sure we, we do this properly. Right, I've got a drill bit here. It don't look too far away. It don't look too far. Yeah, we've got that looks nice. So we'll whack that straight through there. Nice neat hole, beautiful. That's gone through there. Now I should be able to poke the switch up from behind. Yeah, lovely. And also, which way do we want it to be? We want it to go flick forward. So I fancy it being in sideways slightly like that. Get a bit more thread on it, we'll go right through there. Yeah, that's better. That's better. And what I'll do, I'll just put a little bit of grab on there just a tiny bit on there, just like that, and a bit there. And that will just, once it's gone off, it'll be stuck solid, so it'll stop it rotating. So you don't really want it whizzing round. Okay, so that's in and out. And we'll put the off sign in there. Also, that's covering up them two screws that we didn't like. Uh, it'll only go on one way. And we'll drop a little screw on the top with locking not on there. Okay, we'll make sure that it's in the right place. And we'll just nip that up. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're all square there. And then we'll have this little dobber back on the top. So you can see there now the switch is in, nicely tabbed up there. Everything's all out of the way. We've got clearance. We can pop this back back on. Put his feet back in place. I'm not going to reef them up, they're up nice and tight, they're not going anywhere. I'm going to pick it back up. Oh. Let's plug it back in and make sure it's alright. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, so much better, so much better. Let's unplug it, get it back in the van. Shall we give it a go? <laughs> yeah. Come and have a look. So now it's all in situ, everything's right. We're all back where we need to be and we can just flick that on. It grinds as much as we need and we turn it off as we need it. It's just so much easier than having to flick that thing, wait for the timer. And if you're doing just short doses, you can just give it a short blast and it's not filling this up with, with coffee grinds. And then, oh, cause if you leave it and you don't use it, it goes off, it, you lose your first few cups. So the switch is so much more controllable for that fresh coffee coming straight out and into the hopper, just what we need. Really pleased. If that's been a use to you, drop me a little thumbs up, like, subscribe, and get your masses working right. <laughs> Thanks for watching.